no conversation about brownie should be complete without talking about chocolate so let's talk about chocolate in my hands i have these cocoa beans now these cocoa beans uh, grow on theobroma tree which is native to mexico present day mexico and uh, it it has these really big pods so it's it has these really big fruits which are red or yellow in color and inside this fruit is a white colored small segments of white color like lychee and inside this lychee like uh, flesh there are seeds now these seeds are what this looks like and um, they take out the seeds they take out this fruit they remove the flesh this flesh is edible by the way and this uh, seed uh, is then dried it's fermented and then they take off this husk so as you can see they take off this husk and inside inside this husk you will see these cocoa nibs these cocoa nibs now these cocoa nibs are actually the edible part of chocolate they are very very rich in uh, fat and they are very rich in a starch which is actually the cocoa solids so these cocoa nibs are then pressed using a hydraulic press they are pressed and that separates the cocoa butter which is the fat part and the cocoa solids this cocoa solids is what makes our uh, cocoa powder and the cocoa butter is what actually comes in brick form as well it's cocoa butter um, which is like much much richer and harder than regular butter this is the fat portion now this is further processed uh, by you know grinding a lot grinding it a lot with sugar and additives and all those things emulsifiers to make our chocolate uh, let's talk about chocolate for a bit now so when we talk about a chocolate bar that contains the cocoa powder basically the cocoa solids that contains the cocoa butter which is the fat and the rest of it is either sugar now how much sugar there is versus how much cocoa there is determines the percentage of the chocolate for example if you are eating dark chocolate and that says 70% dark chocolate so that means out of the 100 grams 70% is cocoa butter plus cocoa solid the rest of the 30% is sugar and some emulsifiers some vanilla extract things like that if you are eating 90% cocoa uh, you know dark chocolate then 90% of it is just chocolate mass which means cocoa butter and cocoa fat and the rest of the 10% is your uh, sugar so more cocoa butter cocoa solids means more expensive the chocolate gets and bitter more and more bitter and less the cocoa solids means a uh, cocoa solids and cocoa butter means less uh, less bitter and more sweet and also cheaper chocolate let me tell you something about what goes in the chocolate so it contains some sugar some emulsifiers because again if you do not have any emulsifiers what's going to keep your uh, again what's going to keep the sugar and the moisture and the fats together the fats just going to leak out you might have seen on chocolates um, you see the white layer on top if there is some temperature shock like you put the chocolate in your refrigerator and there's this white layer on top it's still safe to eat but that's called blooming of chocolate the cocoa butter just escapes because the emulsifier was not strong enough to keep it inside and temperature shock just leaked this cocoa butter and it comes to the surface it's still perfectly good to eat this cocoa butter is actually something very magical which is why let's talk about milk chocolate now so in milk chocolate you will have cocoa butter cocoa solid in a lesser amount compared to dark chocolate plus there is sugar plus there is milk solids so there is milk powder in a way in this uh, so let's say cocoa uh, in a milk chocolate it would be around 30% about 30% let's say 30% of uh, of cocoa and the rest 70% is either milk and the rest is uh, again 70% means milk and sugar let's talk about white chocolate now so white chocolate as you can see here it says 29.3% of cocoa so 29.3% cocoa means the rest of the 70.7% of sugar uh sugar and also milk now why is white chocolate white chocolate why is it not brown because chocolate is supposed to be brown right that is because white chocolate contains absolutely no cocoa solids it contains just cocoa butter which is very expensive and that that's what makes uh, white chocolate so expensive so 29.3% uh, 29.3% of the cocoa content is all cocoa butter there is there is no cocoa solids there nothing which can bring down the cost which is why again 
white curvature white chocolate is really expensive um so no brown color so this is why we have three types dark milk and white um white is the sweetest dark is the least sweet milk is medium sweet and depending upon how much percentage of cocoa we are going to use uh, is going to increase or decrease the the cost of the recipe and the cost of the chocolate let's talk about coverture versus compound so coverture uh, is uh, what we discussed here coverture is this it it mentions white chocolate here the packet will mention chocolate but compound will not mention chocolate it will write uh, white uh, white compound dark compound milk compound what's the difference here the difference is that dark compound will have cocoa solids which is cocoa uh, you know cocoa powder it will not have any cocoa butter instead if you look at the packaging and the ingredients it will say it has uh, edible vegetable fat it left edible vegetable fat that significantly brings down the cost there is no cocoa butter here which is the most expensive part of the uh, the chocolate plant anyway and uh, when you talk about white compound white compound has absolutely no chocolate component at all because white compound has no cocoa powder no cocoa butter so we again can you replace co uh, coverture with compound to reduce some cost you cannot compound because it has hydrogenated vegetable fat will really 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 make it waxy greasy will not taste nice will not have the flavors um it will it will be really solid at room temperature it will not be soft and melt in the mouth uh, the mouth feel won't be nice so always use coverture the compound you can use that for decorations uh, most of the times the choco chips are also made of uh, compound so use that only for this not for the base recipe of your brownies so let's talk about what's the role of melted chocolate in this batter so uh, be it white chocolate or dark chocolate uh, both of these have a lot of melted chocolate in uh, melted sugars in them they are not grainy at all that it's such finely mixed sugar that the grain is super fine so uh, a it adds the sweetness just like other sugars b uh, the cocoa butter adds a lot of richness mouth feel and uh, flavor the cocoa flavor to it and also the cocoa butter is much harder uh, at room temperature than regular dairy butter so this uh, this will also add to the texture the the stiffness in the brownies the the body of the brownie uh, because it will once the brownie cools down it will hold its shape much better uh, then the the chocolate uh, the melted chocolate will also have some cocoa solids which will contribute to the color to the chocolatey flavor um and again if your brownie if your uh, chocolate which you're using in this recipe is not uh, it does not have enough enough cocoa mass then the flavor will be uh, not as good which is why i'm suggesting to use again something between more like you know higher late 40s to 50s percent of of chocolate content cocoa content in your recipes uh, if you're using white chocolate for example in our blondies then you won't get the brown color so uh, depending upon the components of the chocolate you can decide how much chocolate you want to use and um, what's the role of the chocolate how is it contributing the, to the texture uh, chocolate also contains emulsifier like soy lecithin if you look at the packet uh, the ingredients you will see soy lecithin mentioned on it and that acts as a emulsifier in the recipe as well so it will hold together the fats and the liquids and not let them leak out of the recipe uh, once the brownies are ready so overall it's going to really add the tenderness just like every other fat the richness the sweetness the flavor the emulsion and um, and obviously the rich chocolatey taste to the brownies